Welcome to Electro Online. We're going to try to calculate the kinetic energy of a rotating solid wheel. So let's assume that it's rotating in place, it's not moving in any direction, and the dimensions on the wheel, the radius is 20 centimeters, the mass is 4 kilograms, and let's assume that the angular rotation is equal to 5 revolutions per second. The first thing we should do is if the angle of velocity is expressed in revolutions per second, we should translate it to radians per second. The translation is that there are 2 pi radians for every 1 revolution. Notice the revolutions cancel out, so we end up with 10 pi radians per second as the angle of velocity expressed in radians per second. Now the kinetic energy for a rotating object can be found by taking a look first at the translational kinetic energy. The translational kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. Now if we want to find the rotational kinetic energy, and I write Ke for kinetic energy sub r, r standing for rotational, we need to find the equivalent rotational variables. Instead of the mass, we use the moment of inertia. Instead of the linear velocity, we use the angular velocity. So for the rotational kinetic energy, we find it to be one-half times the moment of inertia times omega squared. Now notice we already have the rotational angular velocity, but we don't yet have the moment of inertia. What is the moment of inertia? Well, it turns out the general description of moment of inertia is the inertia of an object that goes around in a circle. Let's say that we have an object of mass m going around in a circle of radius r, the definition of moment of inertia is equal to the mass times the radius squared. But that's only the case if all of the mass is at distance r away from the point of rotation. With a solid disk, we have the mass distributed over the entire disk, and therefore the moment of inertia of a solid disk is actually one half mr squared instead of mr squared for a point mass at distance r away from the point of rotation. If we plug that into the equation here, we get the rotational kinetic energy is equal to one-half times the moment of inertia for a solid disk is one-half the mass times the radius squared times omega squared for the kinetic energy. Now, simplifying this, this is equal to one-quarter mr squared omega squared. Now we can plug in all the numbers that we have. Therefore, the rotational kinetic energy is equal to one-half times the mass the mass would be 4 kilograms times the radius squared. The radius is 0 0.20 meters, and we have to square that. And then we have omega squared, and omega is equal to 10 pi radians per second. And we have to square that as well. Now with a calculator, we can figure out the answer. So obviously 1 quarter times 4 is 1. 0.2 squared times 100 for 10 squared times pi squared equals, and the answer is 39.5. And notice we get kilograms meter squared per second squared. Kilograms meter squared per second squared. We don't have to write radians squared because radians is really a non unit. And then if we convert that, notice a kilogram meters squared per second or a kilogram meters per second squared is newtons. So this can be written as 39.5 newtons times meters and newton meters is actually joules. So the answer is 39.5 joules for the rotational kinetic energy of that solid wheel. Let me quickly check to see if I did this right. We get 100 equals and yes, 39.5 is the correct answer. And that's how it's done.